breaking news yes what makes a soldier switch sides that is a really good question especially when the soldier is an antibody that is supposed to defend the body against one of the world's most dangerous snake venoms but instead ends up helping the venom kill the body the question has become topical after a group of dtu researchers slightly changed how they tested an antibody that had previously proven promising as an antidote to snake venom in the first experiment on mice the damaging effect on muscle tissues from the venom of botrops asvoracosta rican lanceolate snake was neutralized as expected but in the second experiment the antibody enhanced the snake venom's potency so that it no longer just affected that muscle tissue but ended up killing the mice the research is published in the journal nature communications when and how the antibody was administered made the difference between life and death in the first experiment snake venom and antibody were mixed together for 30 minutes before being injected into the muscle tissue of the mouse the method is only slightly similar to treating a real snake bite in the second experiment the researchers simulated the usual real world scenario where anti venoms administered after a snake bite first they injected the po poison into the muscle tissue of the mouse three minutes later they injected the antibody into the mouse veins the fact that the antibody amplifies the toxin when venom and antidote are administered in different ways is an incredibly interesting discovery from a research point of view says post doctoral christopher winter sorenson from dtu who was testing the antibody when the observation was made this is a significant discovery we have arrived at says post doctoral bruno lomente from the university of costa rica alongside his colleagues professor julian fernandez he has collaborated with sorenson and his project supervisor at dtu professor andrews hogart lawston call for the past 4 years they hope that the discovery will contribute to expediting this development of the next generation of anti venom ensuring that many people in need can benefit from it sooner the phenomenon which the researchers have observed is known as the antibody dependent enhancement of toxicity and has not previously been observed in connection with toxins from the animal world and it remains a mystery in most areas for example scientists do not know how an antibody designed to combat venom can switch sides and instead intensify the toxins attacks on the body we have not figured out how this happens but it helps to identify another important aspect that should be tested when working with antibodies says soren saying